Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing the uh, 5,000 mile review of my 2021 Indian Challenger Limited. Now, there's been a ton of videos out there about the Challenger from day one. And everybody has their own opinions and everybody has their likes and dislikes. I'm just going to run down a few of the things that I really enjoy about the bike. And there's a couple things that I don't enjoy about the bike. So, uh, well, let's first, let's start off with the bad. <clears throat> the uh, the navigation ride command system is super flaky. I don't try to use it at all if I can help it. I don't trust it because every time I've tried to use it, to, you know, to map out my rides, it always seems to crash right about the time I really need to know which freeway I'm getting on. It's done it to me three times on three different rides. The um. The CarPlay integration is about the same. It's not super easy to use. It should be, but it's not. Now, I have switched over to using an actual Apple cord, which supposedly really helps. I don't know why a cord makes a difference, but it does. That all together is my biggest complaint about the Indian Challenger, is just the whole ride command interface. It's super buggy always crashes and that's it's annoying it's super annoying but that being said everything else about the bike i love um i ended up getting the uh, stage two cams done 2500 miles ago at my 2500 mile service and that made a world of difference now supposedly you can get the lloyd's tune you know ship off your ecu and get it flashed and have about the same results. It is cheaper than getting the cams, but I feel better about getting the cams instead of just flashing the ECU, because I don't know what could happen to the ECU, and I'm just not ready to find out. But in the future, I might be. Um, so far, it's been super good on long, long trips, and like I said in my last video, I'm going to be taking a trip next week to uh, Indian Bike Week and back home through Sturgis and Wyoming and this whole trip. It should be about 35 to 3,700 miles round trip, the whole trip, depending on the uh, different roads I take and everything. So then I'll be almost, you know, pushing for my 10,000 when I come back. The fit and the finish on the bike I really like. Oh, there is one other thing that I dislike, and nobody seemed to really come up with a good, viable option to fix it yet. And that is the bolt that holds on the gas tank lid panel. They have this really nice looking bike, great paint job and everything, and then there's just this one bolt right there in the middle of the pan on the gas tank that you stare at constantly. And it just looks out of place and it's usually off center i don't know why they haven't come up with something better than that it's just it's annoying to me um there is a company that came out with a carbon fiber version of this gas tank panel and you know what they did they didn't do anything with that bolt either it's still ugly and obnoxious and i know some people have had problems with their windshield motors i have not because i'm probably the oddball that puts it in one position and leaves it there. So far the uh, the exhaust that I chose I really like. The tap performance with the uh, zombie baffles seems to do really good and lots of people comment that they know when I'm coming which is a good thing. My wife likes it when we're riding and we get kind of split up. She knows she can still hear me so she knows I'm around. And if I, I don't know, I know I've probably said this in other videos but this bike is super fun to ride. It was fun to ride before the cams, but now with the cams, it's just like it wants to go. It really wants to go. And yeah, there's still the limiter issue, but of course, if you get the Lloyd's tune, you can get that taken care of. I mean, if you've been on the fence about getting a Challenger, I would just say go test ride one or find a friend that has one and see if they'll let you take it for a ride. You'll definitely change your mind. So now I'm going to show you a couple clips of me, you know, doing what best on the challenger and that's riding it these are from various trips 
and it's just I really enjoy the way the bike rides. I uh, like the way it corners, the way it just goes down the straightaways. I haven't had any problems riding it. Oh, uh, when I did get the the cams, it did seem to kind of fix the uh, kind of the fluctuation when it's idling. But that also could be because they had to flash it to put the cams in. They had to flash the ECU, you know, do an update. That might have fixed something. I'm not sure. But ever since then, ever since I've got the cams, I haven't had a problem with it. If you've ever wondered if you can uh, lane split on Indian Challenger, I can tell you, you can. It is sketchy. I wouldn't recommend it, but it can be done. Here's a clip of me lane splitting coming back from the El Diablo run in San Felipe, Mexico as we're crossing the border between Calexico and Mexicali. And that's basically all I got for this video. Keep checking back. Like I said, I'm going to uh, put up a video for uh, the Ride 1K in a Day that I'm going to do next week. I plan to uh, probably put up some YouTube shorts and then later piece it all together into one big video. So like every time I stop, I'm going to you know give you guys updates, let you know what's going on. I, I really appreciate you guys following along, liking, sharing a video, subscribing, you know telling you me you like my videos um so yeah keep it up and um we'll see you guys out there thanks a lot